Hello there, Lake County Library. This is Christy Lewis from the Lakeport Branch, and today we're going to be talking about all of the amazing resources on the Lake County Library website for parents and children around 10 or under. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video for teens and students, so sort of middle grade up to adulthood students um, that age range. So if you have slightly older kids, hold out for that video because I'll cover the same resources in this video where there's overlap. But this video is for the 10 and under sort of crowd. So if you want to be notified when that video comes out, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell notifications icon and like this video so that you will be notified when we're putting out new content. We also do book calls all the time of new books that are coming into the library. So it's definitely a channel you want to follow if you are a Lake County, Mendocino County, or Sonoma County library patron. And we have several resources on our website that you can use without the use of a library card, but most of these will use a library card. So make sure you have a library card all set before you continue with this video. If you don't have a library card, you can make one really easily on the website, or you can just run down to your local branch and pick up a physical card. Okay, let's get started on the website tour for parents and young children. Okay, so I started out here on a search engine website because I wanted to show you how to get to the library website in case you're not sure about it and then you can just bookmark it and return to it really easily. I actually have created a bookmark on my phone so I can easily just go to our library website really easily. So all you have to do is type in Lake County CA Library. I have it right here because I search it all the time. So, and then that will bring up County of Lake. That's where we're headed. The CA or California is important because there are other Lake counties in the US. Okay, so first we're gonna cover the online catalog. This I also just covered recently in a video for everybody, resources that everybody should know about on the Lake County Library website. So I'll just cover a few things that are specifically great for parents today. Probably easiest to show you by example how this works. So you can just type in a any sort of keywords that you know about a series. If you're looking for the first book in the Percy Jackson series, for example, for your child, you can just type in Percy Jackson. Here we see, okay, so we're getting the DVD, we're getting the ebook, we're getting a DVD. So this doesn't look like the first book. So how do we narrow it down? There's these really handy search limits right over here to narrow things down. So we're gonna go ahead and click book and that will make sure that we're only getting books. This doesn't look like quite the right book either. So why don't we type in one because we want the first volume. I'm gonna hit books again. Okay, and here we have The Lightning Thief. Okay, that sounds familiar. I think I've heard that before. I think that's the right one. So in order to place a request, you just hit place request right here, and then you'll just need your library card number and your PIN, which is usually the last four digits of your phone number. That's usually what we tell people to make their PIN. So if you're not sure what your PIN is, try the last four digits of the last phone number that the Lake County Library has from you. And then you hit log in. And then once you log in, it'll let you choose the branch that you want the book to go to. So, but say we're going on a car trip and we really just want to listen to the audiobook. So we just want to get rid of this and look for the audiobook. First result for Percy Jackson 1 is the Lightning Thief book on CD. So you can just pop this straight into your CD player in your car. We also have down here the playaway version of the Lightning Thief, which is basically an MP3 player that you can just stick in your pocket and plug in your headphones. So if your child just wants to listen to an audiobook on the car ride, but you guys all don't want to listen to it together, you can give them the MP3 player. And I believe you can also plug the MP3 player into your car, if I'm not mistaken. So this is really handy. And we'll come back to this page in just a minute, but I wanted to go back to the main page and show you some other cool things. So along the left-hand side here, we actually have books for children that are new. This is new at the library. So let's just take a look at what's new. The End of the Overworld, Bear Finds Eggs, Eyes That Weave the World's Wonders. These are all 2024. So easy means picture book. J is slightly older children chapter books. So I thought that was pretty neat and wanted to show you. You can also use this handy New York Times bestseller widget on our front page to find the bestsellers for children if you're looking for really recent popular books. So they have picture books, middle grade, young adult. We always try to make sure that we have the New York Times bestsellers in the library. 
So you should always be able to access those through the library online catalog. Now, say you actually really wanted to download an e-audiobook of The Lightning Thief versus book on CD or the MP3 player. You actually just wanna download the file to your phone and listen to it, which is actually how I do it. How would you do that? You would use the Libby app. So I'm gonna take you over to our website again and take us over to the for kids section of our library website. We're gonna click that and go down. So here's where you need to go to get the library card if you're still needing that library card. So Overdrive for kids. So Libby is an app that Overdrive created that's really convenient. So we're just gonna to go to the Overdrive website because Libby is, is actually an app, like I said. So we're just gonna to go to the Overdrive website, but they're actually the same thing. One's just the website and the other is the app. So you can download the Libby app in most app stores, the Google Play store, the iPhone store, etc. So this is the special kids collection, as you can see up here, Sonoma County Library Kids. Your library card works for Sonoma, Mendocino, and Lake Counties. So Lake County has access to all of Sonoma County's materials. So if we type in The Lightning Thief, there it is, the audiobook of The Lightning Thief. So Libby and Overdrive have a hold system just like the actual library. So you might have to wait in a line for a popular book like The Lightning Thief, but it looks like there are some other Percy Jackson type books available. So there's an ebook available of The Lightning Thief, which your child can read on an iPad or a phone or other device with apps on it. You can actually read in the Libby app or you can send it to your Kindle app or to your Kindle. And here's the graphic novel. So a lot of times there will be other options and browsing the website in the app, it's really kind of fun. You can discover books that you've never even heard of that might be like the perfect replacement while you're waiting for your hold to come in. And just a plug for the bookmobile, the bookmobile has a lot of popular books that are only for the bookmobile, like they won't get sent off to a line. You won't have to wait in line. If you find it in the bookmobile, it's yours. So we have a lot of popular books in the bookmobile. If you see that it's making a stop near you, you might want to check out what they have. There's just a couple things also that I wanted to show parents. There's a cool series of collections on here. Great Reads for first through sixth grade, Great Listens for first through third or fourth through sixth. There's audiobooks in Spanish. There's read-along books. So these are books that will read to you as you read it with your eyes. I actually do this as well with books. I'll listen to an audiobook and I find that it helps me read it quicker. Now say you've put The Lightning Thief on hold for your car journey that's coming up, but you really want something that's available right now for your child. The next resource that I really want to show you guys is called Hoopla. So I'm just going to back it up back to our library website. And here is Hoopla for kids. So it does books, audiobooks, video, music, and comics. That's right. It has all of those with no lines on Hoopla, which is amazing. So here we are on the Hoopla website and I'm just gonna, oh, the kids mode is already turned on probably because I've been <laughs> messing around with it. But so you turn kids mode on by coming up here and clicking this. Let me just turn it off so that you can see. You can actually create a pin so that your child can search without any fear of accidentally getting out of kids mode or anything like that. Like you don't have to worry about that because you just set a code and kids mode will stay on until the code is typed in again. So kids mode is on and you can kind of see some of the stuff that Hoopla is recommending to kids. There's some educational stuff. There's great courses. There's video game stuff. There's movies, like I said, eBooks, audiobooks, comics, all kinds of stuff. And somewhere along here, I saw there was like a puzzle palace thing here it is, Puzzle Palace Pinterest. Pinterest. You can just play tons of games like that. So cool stuff like that. But say your kid is actually somebody who's more interested in more like magazines, like articles, recipes, and stuff like that. Well, let's head back to the library website because Libby once again has you covered. You can just click here into Libby Magazines. This is actually the Overdrive website just with the search limits of juvenile and all magazines. So you can see some of these are for maybe like older teens or preteens. Um, and then we have stuff for kids. I can't believe highlights is still a thing. I used to read that when I was a kid. <laughs> so not all of these are for kids, but this will considerably narrow down the search results so that you're not going through like, see if you get rid of juvenile, you'll see there's like tons of magazines here for adults. So using the juvenile tag will definitely narrow it down for you. 
Okay, let's go back to the website because what if you want to have something bingeable for your kids to enjoy that's like maybe more educational or in a foreign language or foreign language learning TV shows or something like that or like signed stories and stuff like that. Canopy has you covered. This is a streaming service on demand with unlimited usage for kids in kids mode. Kids can just endlessly watch this. It includes classic cinema, independent films, documentaries, foreign films, great courses, educational videos, and probably even more stuff. It also has kids mode with a code. So if I'm exiting kids mode, but I want to show you, here's the parental controls. If you click here, you can just go in and set up a code so that your kid can binge safely. And I had fun browsing around this because they had like reading rainbow on here. They have a lot of stories that are made out of books. They have Arthur. And here's one that I started watching the other day. It's actually a signed story. So there's a man signing it along with the story. The person signing it is very animated and entertaining. So I thought that was really neat. Now, how about if you have the kind of kid who wants to do things in person and they're not really interested in digital stuff, definitely check out the Lake County Library website as well for that kind of child because we are always having activities for kids at all four of our branches. We have various activities. We have like Lego club and story time and you can have your classroom tour the library. So if you're interested in some of these activities and events, I'll just take you on over to our calendar, which is on this main page here again. And you can very easily just kind of look and see on what days coming up do we have. So in Middletown, we have Lego club coming up on the 30th. We have Dungeons and Dragons club. We have Nintendo Switch at Middletown and Storytime. So there's always events going on. Here's family game time in Lakeport. And we have all kinds of stuff as well for events on our calendar. So that is a super cool resource that I didn't even know about until like this last year. I was like, oh, we have an online calendar? That's awesome. We also do have literacy tutoring for adults. And if you are a parent who is trying to learn English, there's a family literacy program where we can work with you and your kids together in the program. So that's really neat. Learn more by checking out adult literacy here and there might even be a link in this for kids section as well for family literacy. Here's the family literacy newsletter. Okay, moving down the list, we also have ABC Mouse, which is an award-winning educational digital learning resource for kids ages two to eight. It's designed to help young children build a strong foundation for future academic success with 8,500 plus learning activities across all major subject areas, including reading, math, science, social studies, art, and music. It includes assessments of your child's level before and after study to show you what they need and to track their learning. ABC Mouse gets kids excited about learning by making it a fun game. So I'm not gonna take you directly into the website, but if you're doing this from home, it used to, I think, only be an in-library thing, but now you can do it from home by clicking this check out account. You can register your child, pick out a cute avatar, and start playing all in about 10 minutes. Although I didn't do the learning assessment, so that probably takes a few more minutes if you do that. You can access it on a computer, smartphone, or tablet. So let's just see what kind of stuff is available on ABC Mouse. There's reading and language arts. It includes more than 450 books, and it can teach them parts of speech and sentence structure. There's also math recognizing and counting numbers, money management. Wow, we're starting that young. <laughs> then science and social studies. I mean, they're covering everything here. There's puzzles, songs, art, printables, and progress tracking. So it's a really, really useful website for parents. Okay, backing it up one more time, we're gonna head over to BookFlix, that's our next thing. So in order to enter the BookFlix website, all you need is your library card number, so BookFlix thematically pairs fiction and nonfiction titles that are designed to bridge learning to read and reading to learn. Animated classic storybooks create a natural springboard into the paired nonfiction text. Young learners can test their knowledge with puzzlers, activities which build comprehension, vocabulary, and other early literacy skills. So this is cool. Let's take a look at one of them. People, People and places. places. This looks cool, there's a fire truck one. So you can watch it or read the book. Let's take a look at what reading the book looks like. You can read along with it. Fire truck to the rescue. Woo, woo. Firefighters race along in their fire truck. And then it says, oh, there's puzzlers here. Okay, so word match, let's take a look read at the word the match. Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. 
match all the words to uncover a picture. Nice work. Ends of hoses where the water comes out. That's pretty fun. Okay, let's back it up once again. Next, we're gonna check out Britannica School and eScholar. Britannica School and eScholar are educational sites for students to use for homework help project or learning at home or at the library. eScholar or Escolar maybe <laughs> is the Spanish version of it and it has built in the capability of increasing the reading level of whatever you're reading. So let me just show you in the Britannica School there are three levels that you can choose from from your child. So we'll go to the elementary one because I'll cover middle and high school in that future teen video. But obviously you can see this is really made to attract the attention of elementary school kids. There's pictures and videos, biographies, articles. Let's take a look at an article here in animals. We'll take a look at, ooh, nice. Let's look at ants. You can have it read to you. Ants are social insects. This means that they live together in organized communities called colonies. You can increase the reading level, and if we do that, you take a look and see it, it goes straight to middle school. So you can navigate the site really easily. If your child has a reading level that's above their age category, you can print them, you can favorite them, email them, cite them for papers, increase the font, translate so there's lots of great options here britannica eScholar has two levels instead of three but it actually encompasses the same grade levels so as you can see on the website here it has primary school and secondary school so primary will be what we are talking about today secondary would be middle and high school and what's kind of cool about the eScholar version which i didn't actually see on the other one is that there's actually games that you can do on this one as well Okay, we're backing it up once again to another great resource for school age kids and that is ProQuest. Now, ProQuest is extremely powerful. There's tons of resources here for older kids, but like I said, we're gonna stick to the younger kids. ProQuest is a database of resources for students of all levels. And there are quite a lot of resources here for grades six plus, so I'll cover those in my teens and students video. I'll just hit the highlights here for grades three plus. ProQuest searches and provides access to scholarly research video news reports on a topic, downloadable ebooks, or a place where you can read those ebooks online instead of downloading them, summaries of sources, bilingual works, newspapers, and more. And it also includes text to speech and endless sources on topics of interest to students researching papers. So let's start off with culture grams because this is great for grades three through 12. And we'll go to the kids edition for this video. This, so you can just click on one of the continents. So let's say we wanna look at the Philippines. Culturegrams contains concise and reliable cultural information on countries around the world, including recipes, teaching resources, infographics, interactive maps, enriching video and audio files, such as national anthems and more. I wanted to show you one of the infographics on here. This is the average person infographic. So the average person's GDP, the median age, how many siblings they have, their ethnicity and religion. I thought that was really cool. It's got quick facts. Like I said, it has the national anthem. We have interviews, famous people, recipes, photo galleries, all kinds of really cool stuff so that your child can explore the world without leaving the comfort of their home. And then the other resource that is really great for grades three through nine is Sears Discoverer, which is also a part of ProQuest. Sears Discoverer is made for new researchers so that they won't get overwhelmed as they're learning how to research. I would have loved this as a kid. I mean, I was so overwhelmed with research. I had no idea how to do it. <laughs> Especially great for elementary and middle school students and educators. So you just need your library card again. The page is really made for searchability, which is awesome. It's got trending topics that are updated about every three days and it has editor's picks. And if you're having trouble choosing a topic, you can just click one of these areas and it'll kind of guide you along a string of a research trail to help students find where their interests may lay and what they might actually be interested in writing about. So if we look at homework, let's see what it says here. Here you can save it to the cloud. You can cite, print, or email. It's got terms to know. It's got a balance of perspectives, viewpoint one, viewpoint two, about the issue of homework and some critical thinking questions and et cetera. And you can also listen to it, read to you, read the article to you. And this Rosa Parks article had a really cool kind of breadcrumb trail for students 
to help them continue looking for more sources. And oh yeah, there's a timeline. The biography articles are really cool. There's related research topics and find more sources for Rosa Parks. So you might learn about all kinds of stuff just falling down a research rabbit hole. All right, so we're gonna head back to the library website now. We're gonna check out the last resource on the kids page and then we'll head on over to the digital resources page because there's a few more I wanna show you over there. But I did a whole video about novelists recently on our YouTube channel, so you can check that out right up here or I will link it in the description down below. This just requires your library card. I think you might have to make an account. And I just love Novelist Plus because it has the age demographics here. If you want some teen books, if you want age zero to eight, if you want strong sense of place and descriptive writing, they have got you covered. So let's check out what they have for ages zero to eight down here. Picture books, easy readers and chapter books international and once you find the book that you want you can check the catalog for availability and here it is so you can just go ahead and order it this is back on our library catalog and it'll also tell you if the book has won any awards and there are also lists for award-winning books has some of the subject matter listed here the location other stuff that you can find on novelist plus are professional reviews top 10 and best of lists and read alike recommendations crafted by experts who explain why the recommendation makes sense. So like I said, I did a whole video on this. So if you're interested in learning more about novelists, check out that other video. Heading back to the library website once again, and we're gonna get out of this kids section. Can I just click here and go to the main page? Yes, I can. That's really nice. And we're gonna head over to digital content now. Let's talk about Creative Bug. You do have to create an account to get into Creative Bug. So if you ever need help with getting into any of these resources and accessing them, just give our library branch a call or bring your device into the library branch and we can show you how it works. Creative Bug has over 1,000 high quality online arts and craft classes. Their expert instructors have been featured in Vogue, Martha Stewart Living, and more. You can watch classes on Creative Bug anytime, anywhere, on any device. Creative Bug releases new classes every day, which include patterns, templates, recipes. They cover crochet, book crafts, and more. So what I did to find some of these crafts that I've been looking at is I just searched for kids in the search bar. So some of the really cool ones that I found was Little Artists, which talks about how to create art together as a parent and child, and then Clothespins Dolls. These were both really, really neat crafts that I was looking at, but you might gravitate more towards fabric crafts and other things. Okay, backing up again to our last resource for today, and that is Mango Languages. This is a great way to encourage bilingual learning in your home. So we're just gonna go straight to the website. There are all kinds of languages here that you can learn using Mango. There's Russian, Korean, Spanish, Arabic, I mean like English. So check out this really cool vocabulary flashcard service. There are all kinds of services out there for flashcards, but this one's really neat because it has native speakers speaking the words and then you can check your pronunciation. Salutations and small talk. Let's learn with flashcards. Now let's learn. Good day. Buen dia. Buen dia. How do you say good day? Buen dia. Buen dia. Isn't that cool? I got it right. And it's very interactive. It's a great way to really use the language, like language that you would really use if you were visiting a country, just an everyday kind of speech. And there's lots of use of native speakers. So it's a really great resource. Kind of practice what you're maybe learning through a grammar book and stuff like that. Mango Languages is a language learning service available on the web and as an app for Android and iPhone, free with your library card. It has over 70 languages and more than 20 English courses. It includes real world conversations, placement tests, voice comparison with native speaker audio, listening and reading activities, personalized review system, and culture notes. This could be a really great resource for homeschooling and for encouraging your kids to have fun engaging with another language. That is all for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this website tour for parents and children and that you learned something really useful. Let us know in the comments if that's the case. And until next time, take care.